Hey there, hope you're having an amazing day. I certainly am over here in sunny San Diego. Sorry, I feel like that's a little bit of a brag. Um, Come on out and visit me if you get the chance. It truly is a great place. All right, let's move on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add images to your emails in ConvertKit. That is one thing that I've heard over and over is people are freaked out that ConvertKit is gonna turn all their emails into ugly, wordy, nonsense, junk, and nobody will like them and open them. And that's really not true. You can actually add as many images as you want to your ConvertKit emails, but it is true that they don't have all those fancy schmancy templates that convert that MailChimp and some other email service providers have so no fancy schmancy templates unless you hire someone to design one and then yes it's possible but don't fear because you can add fancy schmancy photos and have your email look awesome so let me show you I've just decided who's gonna get this email everybody is gonna get it make sure i don't hit send because that would be really bad if i sent a nonsense random email to 27,000 people so don't let me send on the end of this video okay okay i think we've got a deal okay so when i get over into my email it looks like this so again no fancy schmancy templates but you could upload your own you guys and i guess they do have these ones over here i've never messed with those Let's say, howdy who. <laughs> That'd be kind of a fun email subject line. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. <laughs> okay, so from here, here's something that I think is really fun. I can go, hey, and then say your name. Hey, Sarah. And then it's going to have your name at the top, which is really fun. And it looks like this. I'm going to be honest, I always freak out a little bit and think that it's just going to show subscriber name for first name for everybody and not show the real name. And then I'll look like a total fraud. But it works. It does work. Except one time when our customers were importing from Shopify and they were like, their first name was like their order number. That was a little embarrassing. <laughs> But for the most part, it works. It's cool. And it's nice to be personal, like, because you are. You're writing letters to friends, and it's awesome. Okay, moving on. So then I'm going to type awesome things, and then I'm going to add a picture. And so all I do is hit this little button right here. It's super easy. I'm going to choose my file. Now, here's my deal. You do need to, because ConvertKit doesn't have, like, fancy schmancy editing for the photo after you get it in. Like, in MailChimp, you can crop, and you can do filters, and all this nonsense that, let's be honest, do any of us actually do that inside MailChimp? I mean, we pretty much do that before we get over to our email. But, yeah, you can't do that in ConvertKit. So, resize it how you want it, and then add it in. So, like, these are big. So like 1200, if I wanted to add that in, it's going to look pretty big. What I do, like when you preview it, it's going to look really big, even though it looks fine in here. So my recommendation is to make it 500 pixels wide. So that's what I do. I use a resize to 500 pixels wide, and then that works just fine. But you can see in terms of editing, so I can add a title to that picture, and that's what's going to show up to people if their emails don't load this picture is great you should select to allow photos in your emails <laughs> actually that would be a great one i should title my pictures that and then you can do a hyperlink that's right on the photo so that's really cool open link in new tab i like to do that and you can center it left right so you can do a little bit of you can make your email look like it's fancy schmancy form if you size things right and if you go left right you know what i mean you could have a whole column of left hand photos in your thing like if you cho chose a smaller photo you could have it over here and then words 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 but all that to say i mean you guys you can add in as many photos as you want there's no problem with that at all you see i can add another one down here let me see if i can pick maybe a a smaller one to show you guys oh yeah this is tiny my awkward face. So see, so I could put that there and then type, type, type. This is so awesome. I can do cool things in ConvertKit. Um, but actually, I think, let me do type, 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 type. I'm gonna type for a couple of lines 
and then insert a picture because I think I can line it up pretty well. This will be a fun little test. And then let me try to insert a picture right there. Edit, position, left, save. You're killing me, convert kit. Okay, well, this is truth in marketing. It doesn't look like I can do that and also have my words up there. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I know though that I have done like images on the same line together, but yeah, it's not letting me mix words and text on the same line. So there you go. Truth in marketing, if that's gonna like drive you bananas up the wall, then you can stick with MailChimp or Mad Mimi and what dr will drive you bananas up the wall over there is not having awesome opt-in forms and ways to organize people and good sequences and ways to customize who gets what. So you can go do that. But yeah, for me, ConvertKit is much better. But all that's to say, those are the things you can and can't do with image formatting and inserting images inside your emails in ConvertKit. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. And of course, now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.